What's going on everybody? This is Mr. Arrow 250 and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Fister Growler, a new Fister vehicle that has been added to the game as of 4:48 a.m. in the morning. Now, the price of this vehicle is not too expensive, but it's teetering on the edge of cheap and expensive as well. I want the trade price is 1.2 million dollars this car is primarily based on the Porsche 718 Cayman which is a beautiful car to begin with I already have pre-customized let's see what else I can add to this vehicle here for the magic I'll just touch show you what's available for the fair <clears throat> excuse me I'll just show you what's available for the growler itself the bumpers, not too many of it. Just like four bumpers. There's more rear bumpers in its front. I'll scroll through them real quickly. Me personally, I feel like this car with just no body modifications, it looks perfect as it is. Engine, stunt braces, they go in the back. Engine tunes already upgraded. Exhaust. Scroll to them really quickly. You can't really see it because of the um the exhaust fumes. A lot of singular ones, but me I chose this one right here. It just looks better in my opinion. Explosives, we don't do that. Front fenders, you could basically turn this into a 911 GT3 if you want to. Hood, hood catches, just to catch the hood. Not too many. There's a lot of repeats when it comes to the hoods. It's just carbon copies of each and every single one. For your own personal preference but for me i'm gonna keep it stock horns we don't do that interiors i picked the track prepped interior because it looks it looks all right here's a stock dash carbon dash and it's carbon version of the track prep dial designs stock stock dials you can put a tackle meter on it, dash gauges, or you can have both of them at the same time. Doors, I don't usually do the doors, so I'm not too big on customizing cars to its fullest extent. I don't like being over the top. I like being simplistic. So, those are the doors, the seats. Some of them are carbon copies of each other. Some of them are moved back. But me personally, I'll go with stock seats because you look quite better. Steering wheels. I feel as though the stock one looks better. Although you can pick the Apex Basic if you just want to have the Fister logo on it. Scroll through the steering wheels real quickly. It's just a, uh, the same steering wheels as the other tuner vehicles that has been added. Nothing real, nothing new. But I do like the gauges in the front. It's the same interior as the Comet S2. They're both unique in terms of their interior design. At least it's something new and not a carbon copy like we've been getting in our recent cars. Headlights, I don't do headlights. Neon kits, I don't do that either. Lip spoilers. Going for the Cayman appearance, I'll just pick the ducktail like I already have here. But I'll scroll to the other ducktails just to showcase to you what they look like. That is a fat spoiler. Anyways, liveries. There's only 11. You have the white Fister logo, it's black variant, the Growler, and it's black variant. 
the dual stripe, which looks pretty cool. The fist stripe itself, which looks looks all right. The camo, I I personally like the camo. I would pick it, but I'm going for a simplistic build. The rest of these you could turn into a race car if you would like to. Zero Racer. This livery was featured in the test drive variant. In the car meet. And the cover up. Which I don't like too much. Mirrors. Stock mirrors. Primary carbon. I picked the primary to match, to match the body. Plates. Respray, I went for a dark steel. Because Caymans look better in gray. But that's just my opinion. Secondary, oh, trim color. I haven't done this yet. I painted black. Accent color. I'll just keep it ice white so I can actually see the gauges itself. Rear splitters. Zoom in a little bit. They go on the bottom bumper. So, me personally, I picked the lip splitter because it looks simplistic enough as it is. Nothing over the top. You can also pick the splitter fins, although they don't do much. It's just cosmetic. So I kept it this way. Roof accessories, a light bar if you want to create a rally build, a roof rack if you want to go adventuring, if you don't get blown up by Mark II's that is, primary aero roof box secondary version and a carbon version these look over the top to me so I'll just go with a stock roof skirts not too many skirts just carbon copies of each other I'll scroll through them these are for if you want to have a race build but I'll keep it stock as it is. Split as itself. They go on the bottom. They are pretty much the same thing, just different colors of each other. Scroll through them real quickly just to give you a better view of what it looks like. Canards, race splitters, carbon race splitters, endurance splitters, primary, secondary, carbon. I picked the wedge splitter just to match the body a little bit. Spoilers. Now, Caymans don't really look good in spoilers, only if it has, only if it has a duck tail. But I'll scroll through them just so you can get an idea of what they look like. I think this one looks pretty cool. It's not too over the top. But for me, I just kept it stuck as it is because there's a ducktail on it. Sun strips. Let's see what we got here. Not too many. They're only here if you want to make a race build. But I like to keep it stock. Suspension is already upgraded. Tail lights. I'm not too fond of the tail lights itself, but I'll just scroll through them just so you can see them. Transmission, turbo, already upgraded. The side vents, they cover this part of the car itself. There's only four of them. I feel as though it would look good without it. Now for the wheels, I picked the modern mesh because it matches, well, almost matches the stock wheels, which as you can see here. Uh, colors black windows limo and that should be it for the growler let's see how it drives because I haven't driven it yet not fully that is already I feel as though they can use the pariah's engine sound because it sounds more beastly and with Porsches they have beastly engine sounds itself it reminds me of a a Karuma when it comes to the engine sound it's just you know copy and paste I feel like this it would give the car a little bit more oomph 
if they added the uh, um, excuse me if they added the Pariah's engine sound. But let's see how it drives. Lots of wheels about to start. Double clutch it. Already, it's not too fast. But it's fast enough to get you from point A to point B. When you turn the car leans inward a little bit, much like the Tyrus and the X80 Proto, although it's a little bit slight. But so far, I like how this car looks. It looks best if you don't go over the top with it. If you just keep it, like, you know, a street, street variant of it. Just go down the street a little bit here. It's not too fast. We can only go this this much. Although I don't really trust the the speedometers in this game. It's dancing it. Let's see. Default. Lowered. It's not too much. It's lowered enough as it is. So I'll just bring it back up. But so far, I like the Growler. In terms of its price, I'm not too sure if you like Caymans, if you like Porsches itself, then by all means, you can go ahead and pick yourself up one of these cars. It's beautiful. The front car, I feel as though it can have a different engine sound. It would really make me enjoy this car a little bit more. Because recently we've been getting cars with copy and paste engine sounds and copy and paste interiors. But for the Growler and the S2, those are exceptions because those both of those cars look beautiful. But with that being said, this is the Fister Growler, 1.2 million. Do I think it's worth it for its looks? Um, maybe so. In terms of a rating, I would give it a... The engine sound really brings it down a little bit, so I'll go with a, I'll go with a 7.8, it's close to an 8, but a 7.8, but this has been the Fist of Growler, and I'll be back next week to review the next vehicle, which I believe is the Ubermac Cypher. This has been Mr. Arrow 250, and I will see you next time.